This is a quick demonstration of the OLA robotics team Pixie Cam that we're going to use to teach our robot this season to see objects and judge the distance to them. So the camera has a little LED status indicator that gives you feedback uh, depending on the situation by changing colors and flashing. This is the uh, little tiny camera lens. And then up top, there's a little white button that you use kind of like a camera shutter when you want to train it to lock in and learn a new object. Um, over here, we have a laptop that has the Pixie monitoring program that lets us see what the camera sees um, while we're training it and learning to use it. Um, so what I'm using to train it right now is I have three drink coasters that are bright, distinct colors and easy to spot. So what we're gonna do is we'll hold one up in front of the Pixie cam and you see the status indicator light changes color um, based on the color of the object is seeing. So it's seeing a pink coaster, so it turns bright pink. Um, and then when we train it, we can label the object so we can tell it that that thing we taught it to see is a pink coaster, so you see it labeled it there. Um, it's getting some false positives on my hand, which is mistaking for an orange coaster, but they're little tiny boxes, we can filter those out. Now we'll try the green coaster. So it did a good job. So you see it draws a white box around it, and as it moves further away, the box gets smaller, you move it closer, the box gets bigger, so we can detect that box in code and figure out how far away the object is because we know how many pixels it's taking up on the camera and we know the original size or the actual size of the object so we can figure out the distance based on um, how the pixie cam detects it. You can also pick up multiple objects in one scene. So we'll do the green and pink coaster and it sees both of those. And the status light will, will uh, change depending on which one is closer. So I'll move the pink one closer and turn pink. I'll move the green one closer, make it dominant in the picture. It'll see the green one. It's switching back and forth as I confuse it, but that's pretty neat. So you can, when you get good at it, you can use just the lights on the camera to train it and um, teach it new objects. It can hold up to seven objects at one time. We'll only need uh, maybe three or four. We're going to use it to find the energy cells, which are uh, sort of palm size yellow uh, foam balls. And then we have targets where we need to shoot those energy cells. So we'll uh, hopefully train it to see those targets and judge the distance to them and then adjust the speed of our motor that shoots the energy cells at the target. So pretty neat stuff.